Hello, this is European Transmissions and Parts. Today we show you how to make the adaptation program on a Mini Cooper with a CVT transmission. We just installed a CVT remanufactured transmission on a 2004 and we show you shortly in the next steps how to make the adaptation starting with the clutch adaptation and the driving adaptation using different diagnostic tools. If you have any question, let us know. 770-888-1499. Go. Before we show you now how to make adaptation with the computer, pay attention to the instrument cluster. When the adaptation is triggered, X have to be before N and D and P like you see after the adaptation is triggered. If you have any question, 770-888-14 Okay, now I'll show you how to make the adaptation with the IMPA program. The first thing, like you see, you shift F2 and go to Mini Cooper. Then comes up the window and you go to Engine. Then you select the Engine. No, and when this comes up, this takes always a second. No, here you can see the informations what you need. The first thing what you do, you read the memory and push F1 and you can see it's coming up certain error codes what you might have and then you clear out all failure codes what you have push F2 clear all the codes and go backwards okay you go back to the main thing then you go and activate and go F6 and then you can see go F3 reset adaptive values and then you can see you go on the right side you reset the clutch adaptation this means shift to the F1. Now the distance adaptation has been cleared. This means clutch adaptation, clutch adaptation have to be cleared. Okay, then you clear the CVD adaptation. What is here? F6. No. Okay. CVD adaptation if cleared, then you go back out. Okay. What else you have to do is you have to go back in. Go back in in Mini Cooper again. Oh, I'm sorry, mega, mega thing. And go in chassis. Now go in body. And go instrument cluster. When it's a failure in the, in the transmission, it triggers a code in the instrument cluster. So be sure before you make adaptation, get the failure code out. You go F4, go F1, and read the failure codes. Here we don't have any right now. And then clear the failure code and then you'll be ready to perform a clutch adaptation okay now we go to step number three if you have any question give us a call 770-888-1499 okay we show you today how to make an adaptation with the ISIS tool. And then when you have it turned it on, you log in and start, you know, to set it up. This takes a little bit, so I'll be patient. Mm. If you have any question, give us a call 770-888-1499. If you need any parts also, you can contact us by email, by phone, or by fax. Our fax number is 678-807-1952. Okay, then you go out and go and read out the data from the car automatically. Then you go down and start the identification. And first you have to synchronize the head with the computer 
and set up the connection. Now it reads out automatically the data. Now be careful, you have uh, your battery is full. If your battery is low, go and put on a battery charger. It is most important. Now you can see it reads up the identification data, but this always takes a little bit. Okay, we have worked before, as we make a new operation and disregard the old data. Mm, now this comes and reads out the data, what for car you have. Alright, you see, we have a Mini Cooper. And if your data is correct, we go and read out first the memory codes. Be sure you have no codes in there. Alright, first you go to vehicle test. Again, the battery always comes up, be sure you have a full battery. Now it selects all the computers in your car. Everything but the screen, all the computers have you in your car. Now you can read out default memory. In our case we have no fault, otherwise all the faults will be coming up. And be sure, in case you have faults, fix everything before you make adaptation. Because the engine runs perfect and you make a successful adaptation. Okay, we don't have any fault. You go in service function. You go in engine. And then you see CVD gear, you select CVD gear. Now comes up replacement adaptation CVD transmission. You click on and start. See, now comes up replacement adaptation CVD gearbox. You select and go to display. And now comes up the whole procedure. Now you see in the right side exactly the information how you perform a clutch adaptation and step up adaptation. And here set your reset adaptation values hmm. ok, you hit yes and this resets the whole adaptations ok, you read it and then you go to the next step and all the adaptation values are reset Okay, and the whole procedure, and you're basically ready to perform the clutch adaptation, how we show it to you in the next step. Okay, but all very quick, I want to show you also how you can test everything on in the transmission in case you have no failure codes, and you have basically a mechanical failure in the transmission, how you test now your transmission, you know. You go up in the vehicle test, and to activate the computer, there we have a transmission computer and engine computer together, as we only have one computer. You select the computer, call up the echo functions. Now all your uh, data from the computer comes up. You can perform an echo test, this comes up again. But uh, go in diagnostic, go CVD gear. And now you can see, you can test all kind of functions, everything, temperature, distance and him mode, you've been driven, control motor position, what is very important, you can see OP moves in D and F, the stepper motor, you know, you can also test, you know, secondary pressure values, vehicle speed sensors, everything you can basically test on the transmission. You know, what you should do is get you a Mini Cooper that drives perfectly and then uh, test to and play around and make you a copies of all the values and then you can compete against the broken transmission and then you can find out exactly what is wrong. 
Also, you can come to component actuation when you go in, go in generally. And here you have uh, all kind of things what you can test, self-test transmission control unit. Here you can perform up the problem is in the control unit. Here you can check your shift interlock system. I mean, everything you can test. You find this out when you play around a little bit, you know, and uh, how everything works. But right now we go to the next step and show you how to perform the adaptation. And the uh, clutch adaptation first and then the driving adaptation. you have any question, you can call us any time. 770-888-1499. Okay, we triggered the adaptation with the diagnostic tool and like you see in the instrument cluster it shows X now and every selector XR, XN, XD this means the car is now in relearning mode and now we can relearn the clutch adaptation and afterwards we make the driving adaptation. If you have any question give us a call 770-888-1499 Okay, now we are ready to perform a clutch adaptation. You let the car running, put your feet on the brake, turn the emergency brakes on also, then you go from P to R for three seconds, and then you go to P, and you go back to R for three seconds. You repeat the step at least ten times. Okay, then you go to N, and then you go to D for three seconds and every time you do this when you three seconds you release the brake pedal and then you can feel how the car applies the clutch okay and you go again to N to D to N to D ten times and then you go from D to P and then from P to D every time you release your foot from the brake pedal and then you step on the brake again and go back to B. Also, you get you meet your feet on your brake, go from P to D, release your foot, three seconds, then step on your brake and then go to P. You repeat the steps ten times and then this way is reset the clutch adaptations. If you have any question, give us a call, 770-888-1499. This should be not so hard, and after this step, be ready to make the relearning, the drive relearning. Okay, now we perform the driving adaptation. We accelerate now, bis to 6000 RPM. Stay a little bit on the pedal, stay on the pedal, and now release the pedal, and let him roll down by himself. You can see, and he measures the step, you can feel how he measures the step, how you go. And watch the instrument cluster, what's happening, you see, the X disappeared, and the car is ready to drive, and he's relearned, and he drives now perfect. Okay, if everything you, is done. If you have any questions, give us a call. 770-888-1499 And so when you drive now, everything drives like the car should be driving. Would you have performed a successful adaptation?